reason I I was at, my husband asked me if I wanted to come and do this. And there was two reasons. And one was because I always tell my son, um, the only regrets you make in life are the opportunities you don't take. This is the word to go, yo, yo. Hello, ladies. Look at this. This is hey guys. Shocker. This is gonna confuse you. But you know what? Before we even confuse you more, don't forget to like that button, that icon right down there. Don't forget to subscribe right down below or on the side. I don't know what computer you have, but it's amazing. Spread the word. And also, our favorite is the bell icon. Yes. Where is and we got a bell. I don't even know where ding, my ding, ding, ding. Ding. We got a bell on our head. I got a bell in my head all the time. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. Okay. That's well, I have the bell. Me. There we go. I'm, I'm filling in for the Your bell is big yes. enough for the three of us. That is a giant it, it, bell. Our Teespring store is expand, expanding. I should mention, not only do we have merchandise and it's floating right below. Hello. So, con so convenient. Hello. So convenient. We also have a new shirt on Pro Wrestling Tees as well. Everything you need to know about our merchandise is in the description. But ladies and gentlemen, not only do we love a Wednesday for Grown Ass Women TV, but here at Gaw TV, we like to mix it up. And today, we are spicing things up. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, hot. Ooh, hot. It's too hot to handle. It is the original TNA knockout, Tracy Brooks. Welcome to Gaw TV. Welcome back, I should say. I hope people didn't think, I wish people think I was Mickey. <laughs> I wish I looked like that girl. Seriously. We are beyond you thrilled to have so you. so beautiful. Gorgeous. Hey, hashtag. I'm so excited to be here. No filter needed for this one, ladies and gentlemen. The original TNA knockout, Tracy Brooks, obviously a friend of Gaw, our, our close personal friend who we love so much. And Mickey is busy with her master class, and she's really doing it. We're going to show you a little bit about that, especially in an upcoming episode. We want to give it its full attention. But today we have Tracy here with us, and we're so thrilled to talk to you. First of all, Tracy, how you feeling? You look gorge. Uh, I am, well, I'm a bit of a hot mess. I am on the farm in Canada, on my dad's farm, and I am exhausted. I, I don't know if you can see the bags under my eyes. I might have just got off Slam Reversary Impact's wrestling pay-per-view, if anyone saw that. And then I came right to the farm, and that is where I've been. And my dad has, um, well, let's just say, put me to work. Put my little ass to work, and I am exhausted. So, hence, no I, I'm supporting rest. John Deere. My, my farm, John Deere. This is why I look like this, but... Um, any chance to become on God TV, you girls know I love you with all my heart. I love this show. I think it's such a great tool for females in this business, even men in this business. Um, you don't realize what we've all, we all kind of went through the same thing, but none of us told each other, yeah. like our insecurities and how we were feeling. And, you know, years later it comes out that, oh my God, I felt that way too. And so I love this show so much. And I think you girls. So it's almost out. like a reunion, like, you know, because yeah. we used to host Fight TV mm -hmm. um, for the Impact Wrestling, which is, this is a little mini reunion. Who knows if they're going to bring us back in the future, you know? Hey. I think we should hashtag TV. that. I think hashtag so, too. Guys, everybody that's in the chat room and watching the show, reach out to Fight TV, TV and you want Val, Tracy Brooks, and myself yes. back on the show. It was a lot of that fun. That was so, so fun. much fun. You know what? The great thing about it is not only do we have similar experiences in wrestling, but we were all in impact wrestling. So we have similar and different experiences. But Tracy, mm -hmm. you, first of all, we'd love to hear about what you're wearing and drinking. So we'll do that first. But we are going to get into deep dive into TNA wrestling. And by the way, disclaimer, if you're joining us here on hashtag God TV, when we say TNA, it's because that's what we just refer yes. to as, right? It's impact wrestling. We love our impact wrestling family, but you're going to hear a lot of TNA, 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 tonight. TNA. That's how we call it. Yeah. But um, are, what are you was, vibing on tonight, by the way? Oh, I kind of messed up though. So I needed to support my Canadian brewery and I have a Labatt's Blue. I thought it was blue light and I'm watching my um, girlish figure. I'm watching it expand, but I'm trying to watch so I am have not taken the top off yet. So I think I'm going to put it back in the fridge, and I might go for a little, um, a little vodka water a little later on. But I nice. realized I screwed up because Blue Light is my all-time favorite beer, but I can't do the blue. So I, I'm sorry. I am very. I apologize. And what I, can I do? What I'm wearing? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, my to, my brother works for John Deere, and we bled green our whole life growing up. So John Deere hat, and then I'm wearing kind of the Canadian tuxedo. I got the jean jacket, jeans, and I don't have a jean shirt though. I honestly think this is my pajama top. So there, there are jean shirts available. Yes. 
So jean yeah. shirt and then a jean jacket and jeans are actually a Canadian tuxedo. It is. So I kind of have it on, but um, this is kind of just a makeshift little Canadian outfit. So my farm yeah. girl outfit. I think, I, think you're representing. I think I should be yeah. Canadian. And I have, I have a question for you, um, Tracy. Is, is vodka a keto friendly since you're doing keto? I am doing keto. I don't like to do it for long. I like to do it for just like short periods because like I don't, I hate the word diet. Don't you like guys? Eight hours, yeah. Like eight I hours? Eight hours keto friendly? Eight hours? No, I'm doing it for like a couple months and then I, you know, I'm doing it for an hour. Yeah. I'm doing it for one hour. All weekend. I, I'm shredded after. You should see yeah. that riff. But, but you do it for a couple months? That short period of keto? I do do it. I do it for a couple months and then I I found out I went kind of was going back to wrestling. So I kind of just wanted to look my best. And, um, you know, after 11 years of not really paying attention to myself. Um, but no, vodka is Tito's vodka and water with a little bit of lemon is uh, is keto friendly. So that's what all the wrestlers drink, and your fellow Canadian yes. EY would always drink vodka water. Mm -hmm. And if they felt <laughs> adventurous, a little bit of lemon, just a, just a scoop. little bit of lemon. A little you bit. did. I, I would Val, always please. Val did too. Val always got uh, vodka with um, either soda water, uh, yep. club soda, and then your little crystal light squirt. Yes, yeah. I, that's still my, my go-to. <laughs> well, now that really? you say that, speaking of which, I have to go next now because, uh, spoiler alert, that's what I'm drinking. And actually, it is a vodka soda with some um, little squeezies inside. It actually is more orange in real life. I was trying to color coordinate, but darn you, Zoom, for making it look more yellow than orange. So, I mean, I'm, I'm over it. I'm okay with it, I suppose. Um, I'm just wearing a little orange because I really wanted to feature these Kirk & Kirk glasses. They're a fabulous brand that not only myself, not only do I love it, Alan Ayers of Alan's Armbar did a little photo shoot in these glasses and they are so chic. They're unisex and they are a fabulous brand, really fun. Like you could be wearing the most casual monochrome outfit and these are just a nice little pop of color. I love that. Orange, you glad I chose these, you guys? Orange, you glad. <laughs> Orange, you glad. <laughs> Orange, and you glad. So do you have any pictures of Alan doing a photo shoot in those? I might. Ooh. Okay. Well, shall we? Show it on TV? Yes. Let's show it right now on yes. the TV. Yes. Oh, yes. look at that. Oh, handsome. Yeah. yeah. And I'll, yeah. can I tell you something? I took these photos and they put it in the Kirk and Kirk campaign. They are such a lovely group of people and anything that's fashion related, you know, I love, but I will say back to the keto thing quickly. So yeah, great point, Tracy. It's not really like a diet because that's a, that's a naughty word, right? Kind of like, you know, paisley or camouflage. No offense, Lisa, but um, you know what I'm saying? Casual, I don't use the C word casual, but I will say that it is really low in calories and Mickey, um, was the one to tell me that actually lower in calories might not be keto, it's tequila soda. Really? Isn't that crazy? If you give it a goog, yeah, it's very low in calories, but again, to do these like sugar-free squirts, like make it a yeah. little nicer and more jazzed up, but otherwise vodka soda or vodka water can be very boring, but, but it's healthier, so kudos to you. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. What about you, Lisa? Yes. yes. How about me? Um, I'm not doing the keto. Um, I, uh, I've i been on that, um, remember I was on the gin and tonic thing and I'm, I'm oh. burnt out. I'm burnt out. I'm, no, I can't do it. I, I, and I switched to vodka soda or vodka water with the sport of you know the stevia mm -hmm. uh sports, you know um yeah. since it's better it's healthier um i went back to wine because remember i was getting heartburn from wine and um i haven't got my new order from fresh vine wine so i had to do robert M mandavi i'm still waiting for my order from fresh vine wine which is low cal low carbohydrates mm -hmm. yes it is yes. yes yes and i'm also um wearing this is my go-to outfit like when i do comic cons i don't know if you can hear me comic cons um this is my sunday outfit if they have me flying out on a sunday that way i don't have to change clothes and this is this is available on my big cartel store like and is, that, is it a one is it a onesie it's it's a, it's oh a full God. number oh nice yes and it's, it comes with my um my combat shoes too so and then i am getting rid of this hat because i've had this since God, WWE days. That's how old this hat is. So it's You're like, like it's a whoa. sexy Sergeant Slaughter. Unless you already think Sergeant Slaughter is sexy, which is totally fine by us. We don't judge. I have a great picture of Sergeant Slaughter in myself, um, and we'll go to it right now. Yay! Oh, he's. A, I've only yeah. met him a couple times. He seems very nice. Yes. Well, I got to tell you. Speaking of stores, I'll tell you what's in <laughs> store for you guys. Okay. Ooh, what's in store? Tracy Brooks 
is back, baby. Back, back, back again in Impact Wrestling. And I I mean, I couldn't even get to the who are you wearing, what are you drinking? Because I was so excited. I started to want to get into it. You guys, I will tell you something, and I don't often do this, but I marked out so much watching a video. I'm not showing the video because it's so ridiculous. It was awesome. My girlfriend Aaron and I, yes, we're, we had we had a an old school, an old fashioned pay per view pizza party, like the ones I used to have when no one would show up when I was like 14 and no one cared. Um, but we <laughs> ordered Slam Anniversary on Fight TV. Thank you. Only solely to watch Tracy Brooks. No offense, Nick, you did great too. But we're there to watch Tracy. And tell us about, first of all, how this came about and then your experiences at the event, because it was so exciting. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, your videos meant the world to me, girl. I, I, I needed all of that encouragement before I went out. And then after was amazing. Um, well, Lish is a little bitch, <laughs> little, Lish, little Alicia Edwards. Um, she just, uh, do you remember how much, so when, when Eddie turned, he, uh, that was when we were doing commentary. And remember, I flipped my sets and I, I was so pissed off because I loved Eddie. I thought he was incredible. I thought he was TNA Impact Wrestling. I thought like he was the leader and he was the heart. And then he turned and then his wife was like, no, don't do that. Don't go with honor no more. So I was like, yes, Slish and everything. And then she just turned to the dark side and she's a bitch now. So yeah. she just kept interfering with Frankie and, and Eddie and Frankie. Again, the story, the storyline is just a natural storyline. Um, Killer Kowalski students raised the same way, but have taken different paths. They actually only, I don't think they ever wrestled singles until a few months ago. Oh, they wow. had wrestled twice, maybe before in tag matches. Um, the Wolves versus, I think it was Daniels and Frankie as the addiction, maybe. And I think it was yeah. in Ring of Honor, maybe once in Impact way back in the day. Um, and they're two incredible performers you know frankie i think he's the most amazing performer of this generation and eddie is too he's just a dick so <laughs> but it was just Liz just kept interfering and interfering and interfering and frankie's not going to hit her and it just naturally came about that i'm going to take the little bitch out because i wasn't going to take her out i wasn't going to touch her if she had behaved herself but she didn't behave herself no. so um i i had to I'd take care of her that was it so it was uh -huh. um a lot of emotion. Let's just say that. It had to be Lots emotionally charged for you to come back to wrestling. And I, Lisa will agree. Like, yes. we know you. And we yeah. know that that was not part of the plan. And if you're sitting, what no. it seems like to me is like, you're sitting at home, right? And you're like, okay, how much of this crap can I stand? And mm -hmm. Slammiversary being the biggest pay-per-view. And I always loved Slammiversary. Um, but you know, it was a grand stage. But at the same time, like, I don't care if it was Slammiversary or not. To me, it just seemed like you'd had enough. And if you laugh, yes. she's going to insert herself. Let's, you know, even the stakes here and you insert yourself because you had to. Absolutely. And I, I honestly thought it was a little like reminiscent of old school. Like. We did what we could do. I've been out of wrestling for almost 11 years, but it wasn't like we went in there and put on a five star wrestling match. We went in there and did what we could, what I could that, you know, and that was to just be a. I was there to kick her ass and pull her hair and get her the hell away from my husband. And I, I felt like it was very kind of old school um, yeah. cat fight almost like a little remnant. And I, I, we haven't seen it in so long. So I thought that I, that was kind of cool too, but uh, I'm very sore. Oh, bless very your heart. Sore. Well, it didn't Crazy. end there either because of the last act. Yeah. When you go back, you're like, you're like, oh my gosh, even the smallest, like 10 second pull uh -huh. apart, like a good old fashioned pull apart. You're just like, oh, you come home, you can't get out of bed. You're like, yeah, this. We forget how physical our job is, you know, and again, and it's on top of it, travel too. And we, we took the, the reason I, I was at, my husband asked me if I wanted to come and do this. And there was two reasons. And one was because I always tell my son, um, the only regrets you make in life are the opportunities you don't take. So oh I, I couldn't, I couldn't say no. I'm going to start to cry. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't say I no. I the crier. Him, Please cry. I, I, I look to... less stupid. No, I'm so I've cried a lot. I'm sick of crying. I, cu I <laughs> couldn't say no because of him, because sometimes he's a little hesitant to do stuff. So I had to show him. He asked me too. And so when the package aired that Frankie's like, I'm bringing back the original knockout, his face was just like, oh my God, my mom. And he was so excited. Yeah. He's like, are you scared? And I was like, yeah, I'm scared, but I'm going to do it because I said, I'm doing it for you. And I do it for my girlfriend, Tracy. She passed away almost a year ago. And um, I live life for her. 
So. Oh, I want to give you a hug. Yeah. Cool. Look, look, we're, we are such saps on this show. But that's I know. Thing. And, and having so much history and knowing you so well, we knew it meant a, meant a lot for you and it meant a lot to Rebel, who we love so Don't much. Start. Shout out to Rebel. We love him. Who, by the uh, way, is our next president. He is this most amazing, smart kid ever. Yes. Like I, said, yes. I tell everybody about Rebel. I'm like, you don't understand this kid. He's like, <laughs> He makes me feel like I'm like, duh, what? Um, <laughs> so, yes, cutting onions. Yeah. By the way, speaking of cutting onions, that's what everyone always says in the live chat room. Is, as Lisa mentioned, we're here every Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Eastern in the live chat. If you're watching on replay, we appreciate that. But you really get the full uh, the full Monty in the live chat, just like people are right now saying cutting onions. Um, but yeah. but Tracy, and listen, so we like cutting onions too, Val, because we like to talk about food because we like freaking oh, food it always goes, it also back goes to, food to food talk. chats but but tracy yeah. it didn't just stop there at slammiversary and i don't know if, no. first of all did you think it would because then on the last impact i mean it it, it sprawled backstage it wasn't even like in front of you know a, a big audience it was like that's how uh, what's the word that's how it's personal emotional and personal is yeah. it getting i mean even backstage and no one's safe what happened well, I mean, it didn't like he brought me in to counter Lish and I did counter Lish because she got involved. If she wouldn't have got involved, I didn't have to get involved. She got involved. So I got involved. And then at the end, they cheated again. And so, again, it didn't end. It's just um, again, Eddie is awesome, but it's only you know, you're only as good as the locker room views you and you're cheating and lying and stealing and stuff like that. You know, you're not. How respected are you? Yeah, I just yeah. want. I've gotten back into this little bitch needs to respect me now. <laughs> like, I think in your honor, we just go ahead and delete her episode of God TV. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lish. Sorry. Go Technical difficulty. Just kidding. Yes. Go go back I, just, I just get protective. You know. No, but then like, she was talking trash about me. And so I beat the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah, That's backstage. fair. Well, no, we, we, I didn't, we, it was a, it, uh, it was, um, uh, no one won on the end than that. It was a pull apart. The security guards won because they got to pull us apart. Guards. So probably won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucky so, them. Yes, yeah. but I, I'm, uh, I'm not. I, I don't know. It, nothing got concluded. I thought the end of the match was going to be it, but it wasn't. They continued to cheat, and uh, so I don't know. We'll have to see. But where does it go from here, Lisa? Any predictions? I mean, other than you know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go up against Tracy Brooks. My God, actually, I have been up against Tracy Brooks a couple yes, times. You have. Canada, Germany. I am Germany. a proud <laughs> loser of a bra and panties match in Germany. <laughs> Tracy, so <laughs> I should say, actually, I know firsthand that, but but yeah. you weren't like horribly mad at me, so that's why I'm not no. going to put that in the same vein as as Lish. But Lisa, where do you see, where do you see this going? Oh, uh, you know, you know, Tracy and I, you know, people think we're related, and um, I have, you know, we have probably the same father and we don't know about but um, <laughs> don't know about? I'm, I'm going with my sister from another yeah. from another mama <laughs> usually a sister from another mister isn't it yeah but um yeah it's just um i'm you know i'm old school so i gotta go with my girl tracy yeah. sorry lish thank you for being on sorry, the show lish. yeah yeah the replay is available here on God TV. Uh, if you'd like to watch just to compare just to compare yeah. you know just saying um She's but i will changed. say uh sorry She's changed. I don't know what happened to her. She, she just seemed changed. nice on the show. No, that's Girls. all an act. Yeah, well. I don't People know. People change. Well, yes. Well, I understand she's standing by her husband. I get it. I'm standing by my husband. But um, I don't know. It's funny. I talked about this with Mickey when she went back, when she was wrestling, too. It's When you're a mom, it's different. Like, I'm not Tracy Brooks, the wrestler. I'm... I'm mama bear. I'm you're now screwing with my family. You're screwing yes. with my husband. You're screwing so. with my family. So I'm not rational. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little, you know, crazy. <laughs> like, Are don't we all? My, yes. And <laughs> yes, the same thing exactly. Rebel, yeah. Rebel was front row and that, and Eddie got in his face. To my son. Oh. And, and it was like, I could tell my son wanted to hit him so bad. Yeah. But now it's affecting my family to where it's like, and again, it's when it's, when you're a wrestler, it's one thing because comp competition, Lisa, if you draw, you get driven and you, you know, the, the better your opponent, the better you get. But it's like, now it's just, I'm mom. You piss me off. You piss, you're yeah. messing with my kid. You're messing with my husband. You're messing with my money. Yeah. Like, no, this don't is, touch again, that coin. I'm not. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah. not grown ass woman, y'all. It's strong ass mother, y'all. Yes. Exactly. 
Yes, I That's love that. That's it. Those mama bear claws come out. Yes. Listen, she can protect her husband all she wants, but you know what they say? You lie down with dogs, you get up with fleas, tool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I all I'm going to say on that subject, I will tell you guys uh, something exciting. If you are not already a member of our YouTube channel right here on God TV, we encourage you to do so because we are going to play a game with Miss Tracy Brooks, only available to our members. We're calling it going round for round with the original TNA knockout. Ooh. We're going to get all your candid thoughts, Tracy. Before we get to that, though. I would just love your candid thoughts right now about going back, as Lisa said, going back to wrestling, going back to the locker room. What were the differences? <laughs> what was everyone like? What was the feeling that you had initially going in? Because it's very different to go as, you know, Frankie's wife, Rebel's mom. You're going yes. to watch your family yes. as yeah. opposed to you're back, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, last year, remember I did Slammiversary? Remember I was in front row? and yeah. I, But it's the locker room's awesome. The knock, and I've always thought the knock, the locker room's been awesome. I, I mean, we've, we, okay, this is what I say. So when I debuted in TNA in 2003, I had to, I had to attack the cage dancer and dance sexy and said cage, which was not, yeah, it was, yeah. Now, fast forward to Slammiversary last year, the girls were doing Queen of the Mountain and jumping off the cage, doing suplexes and moonsaults and stuff. So they took what we created and just ran with it. They didn't drop the ball. Yeah. They have run with it and surpassed and broke glass ceilings and have done. So I really respect those girls. I don't want to mess with any of them. I think they're all, they all look like a star, but they all get to be them. You know, I, I, they all get to be who they are and um, who they are and, and who they want to be. They don't, I think back in our day, we always were forced to be maybe a little sexy, like that stereotypical sexy. Do you guys? Yes. Like, get in the ropes like Stacey Keebler. I'm five, four. My legs are an inch tall. How in the hell am I supposed to get in the ring? Like Stacey <laughs> Keebler? If there were no sexy bits, I would have been like, well, this isn't for me. Bye. Yeah. Well, exactly. But I don't get, yeah. I loved it too, Val. I had giant well, boobs. It, come, it comes so naturally to you, girl. Come on. Oh yeah. Real, real sexy. But it was, but I feel like these girls good. today get a chance to be themselves. And if yeah. they, you know, they get, so I, I feel like they're very comfortable with themselves, but the locker room is incredible. If, I babbled there, sorry, but no, they're um, oh, welcoming and they were all so sweet, like going over the top, going the original knockouts back, like in my ear, you're the original knockout, like pumping me up and stuff because I was about to throw up. Like I haven't walked down a ramp in TNA since the winter of 2011. Whoa, and it was deep, actually me and Mickey James. Now. It's deeper now. It's yeah. deeper. Yes. Ramp. It's longer, or we're just older. I don't know what it is. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. True. My last match in TNA was me and Mickey versus Gail and Madison. It was my very last match. Okay. I don't know if Mickey knows that. Were but you it was there because... when Mickey was Alexis Lurie in like the early, early days? Yes, I was. Did you interact was... with her? So literally maybe for a month she was there, and I loved her. I was a big mark for her anyways. Because um, she was like Mickey from uh, Maryland Championship Wrestling, like or Le Lexus Lurie from Maryland Championship Wrestling. I knew about her, um, but she was so kind and so sweet. And I think she was only there for a month. And I think it was one of those things. I remember I called her to wish her good luck at WWE, and I felt like an idiot because I was like, I don't know. She was just, she was always really sweet. I always say she was like the first girl there too, but I guess she wasn't there when the knockout started. I guess that's why they call me the original. But really, Mick Lexus Lurie was. I mean, she was having matches against Jeff Jarrett back in the day, like as Ray and Raven's flock. So, I mean, I don't know. I kind of think she's the original, but. Why? Why? It's still your title. Hold on to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't have anything else. I never want a title, so I'm going to keep the original. But the original makes me sound old. Can we change that? Like, I, know. I agree. I agree. I agree. OG. I, I yeah, yeah. Cool. OG. Maybe it's because yeah, I watch I Housewives, and when someone's an OG, like, it's like a huge badge of honor, at least. In yes. I, fandom. By the way, it's Maryland Championship Wrestling is where Mickey had her master class. Again, we'll get to that another time. But MCW, I remember seeing yes. in a, the Women's Sports Illustrated Wrestling Sports Illustrated, it was called PWI, I should say. Pro Wrestling PWI. Illustrated. Um, I remember seeing all these different girls and you are, I believe you were in there, Tracy. Um, I think Mickey was maybe Alexis Luria. Maybe she just become Mickey James. And there was another uh -huh. girl who was Candy from MCW. And I was like, oh, she must be a big deal. She's in the magazine. And yeah. Candy. Candy. Light blonde, light brown I think hair. I have that episode or that, that magazine. With Stacey Keebler on the cover? I think I have that magazine you're talking about. I have. I wish I had I a picture so. of it. Um, yeah, that was old school. Yes. 
Yes. Of course, Lisa was in it. Of course. That's why I knew who Mickey was. Because when we grew up wrestling, it was me, Gail, and Beth Phoenix. Because Natty was way on the other side of the country, right? Like, we didn't have... So it was just really us three. And then I knew about Alexis Larise. So I was secretly a mark for her. I don't know if I've ever told her that, but because it it'll be our little secret here. I always wanted to wear those. <laughs> yeah. Mickey, don't watch, please. Yeah, don't watch me. Wait, what yeah. did you want to wear? The whole the whole shebang? Her shoulder pads. Remember her shoulder pads as Alexis Larise? She had the demolition shoulder pads. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dude, hot. I if we can, I don't yeah. know if this is gonna, you know, we're, we're we're getting down on time here, but I want to talk to you. Speaking of outfits and ring gear, I always loved your Miss Brooks outfits with the kind of the tuxedo feel and 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 Robert Roode and the mm-hmm. secretarial secretary look. Always loved that. I mean, that never goes out of style. But I loved what you wore on Slammiversary. If we can get a photo of what you wore, can you describe? It was so cool, and it was such a a, a nice homage. You did to the to the locales of Los Angeles. I- you like that? I thought you would I uh, hate me for that. Okay. No, I, I honestly, it. I think I actually told you I was going to be doing that. So you, you wouldn't did. kill me. So but it was a my, fancy version. Yeah. So Frankie is, we're obviously live in SoCal and he's a huge Lakers fan. But the thing is, uh, the Lakers and the Celtics, Boston Celtics have a huge rivalry. Rivalry. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. a big word today. Um, so they were wearing Boston green. We were wearing LA just coincidental but yes I was wearing the LA Lakers purple and gold with the purple and gold um Lakers Jordans and yeah it wasn't my uh it was definitely my husband's choice it wasn't yeah. my but listen I'm sure we have a lot of baseball fans that are watching the show right now they're gonna love that Lakers what no <laughs> close it's got a ball there's a ball okay yeah, yeah it's got close a ball now. Did you ever, tr- did you train with Trish as well? Speaking of Canadian greats. I did. So oh. uh, Ron Hutchison. So I, I don't, I don't want to tell her story wrong. I think she was signed and then went to find a school to train at. I'm not a hundred percent sure if she was already signed, um, but she was already signed, but I don't know if she found Ron before she was signed or after. So when I went in, Trish was there. So it was like, oh, this isn't intimidating at all. She's not beautiful and perfect and nice I and know. wonderful. Really? And darn it, she's also like, nice. Like, whatever. Yeah. 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 She can't be all the things. Um, that's another thing. She comes back and I'm like, really? You're coming back looking like this, having two kids. I'm coming back looking like this after one. You look like, amazing. But I, I know talk what you about mean? Her? when she first came back, I thought, what? skincare regime hello what's what what are you doing unbelievable unbelievable just unbelievable and i'm i said to frankie really really i i have to come back after her like seriously unfair and unjust and quite yeah. frankly I, if you're watching we don't appreciate it okay no unfair thanks thanks for mess, making me look bad girl <laughs> thanks for nothing so no. uh, the funny thing is I was a little more covered up because also this was the first time i was on tv without my gigantic breasts Different, right? Last time fans saw me, I had they're still pretty large and in charge, Tracy. Just go, yeah, yeah. That's what's so, they're, they're not, still, yeah, they are. But yeah. I was, I'm a mom, I, I'm a mom, I'm 11 years not really paying attention, fo- focusing on my family and everyone else yeah. before myself. So, um, uh, one uh, someone told me this, and I don't know who it was, but they're like, the only negative thing I ever I heard about this whole situation was that. Why was Tracy so covered up? <laughs> Isn't that Why hilarious? was I so covered up head to toe? Age appropriate. Yeah. Age appropriate. That's what I say. Come on. It's And it's your personal. I got to hide stuff. No. Yeah. It was funny oh. though. So I'm like, okay, well, that's the most negative thing out there. I'm fine. Yeah. They, they, they basically, you left them wanting more, which is always good. And yes. We'll see more of what's yes. going to happen at, on Impact Wrestling. Tune in. We're following along, and you guys have to be too. Uh, we don't even need to put the links in the description because everyone knows Impact Wrestling put on an amazing show. And I'm, I'm really interested to see how this is going yeah. to work out going forward. We have loved having you here. This has been so much fun. And I know the fans were, they listen, they wanted a double helping of Tracy Brooks. Okay. And why not? We're so proud of all you're doing in Impact Wrestling. There's a lot to come. Of course, you're still, <laughs> got to tell you, girl. You're still in the thick of it. So we're wishing you all of the luck. Any final words for your fans here on God TV? Yeah, I know. Keep watching the show. You guys, I love this show so much. Seriously, I brag about the show all the time. I just feel like this show is very important. 
you don't realize until you're out of the business what you had. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. And you have to appreciate every moment. So this is, I love this. And I hope all the girls coming into the business watch the show. Um, and uh, you learn so much from it, honestly. You do. I swear to God. Like, again, the, going back to Tori Wilson, when she was talking about her bikini stuff and how she felt, and I was like, oh, my God. I Like, how she looks so confident and beautiful and radiant. And Lisa, like, watching you, like, watching you grow up in the same age, watching you and, like, and knowing that you were nervous and stuff like that. And I'm like, she killed it. How did she fake it? Like, so it, it's it's important. I hope all the girls coming up in the business watch and. And no, I just love you guys. I love the fans. The Impact fans were so incredible and they embraced us. And it was fun going back with my husband. I haven't managed him since 05. So going back with him and having Rebel right there, it was it was a great way to finish up my career, let's say. Full circle. Closure. 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 It was. It was. I'm, I was lucky enough to know that I loved it. It was incredible, but I love being a stay-at-home mom. I do. I love being at home. You, I love you, volunteering. I, I, one question. Did you smoke a stogie of your, your husband's um, cigar uh, company's cigar afterwards I to didn't. celebrate? I was in bed, Lisa. <laughs> I was so sore and tired. Well, I got to say, my my husband loves uh, my husband. Oh, my God. My boyfriend. Oh, no. <laughs> what and done. What and done. Um, he loves your, your cigars. Well, yes, yeah, American Rebel Cigars. You can go to stogiebird.com and uh, Cody Rhodes and Frankie Kazarian are the co-owners and they're incredible. Like it, even if you're not a, cig a cigar person, but you're a wrestling person, it's such great memorabilia. Um, yeah. Like the packs have posters on it. The cigars have wrestling bands on it. And uh, yeah, it's in Cody and Frankie have done such a great job on doing it. So I do love a great cigar. Um, I just, that weekend I was so tired. Literally I was, I got Tim Hortons because it was in Canada. And yeah. I think I fell asleep with a donut in my mouth. But as so you tired. well deserve. As I well deserved. Yes. A cigar yes. in one hand, a donut in the other. We're going to put all yes. of the descriptions for American Rebel Cigars in the Thank YouTube you. description. So have a look. Lisa, why don't you lead us in a final cheers? Tracy, we love you so much. Thank you for being here. We are always your biggest fan. I love you guys so much. Tracy, I love you. You know, I love like, you, sister. We talk to each other all the time. And we're just like, oh, my God, are you me? Am I, I you? Know. We're so similar in every aspect, every aspect is, it's, it's kind of a little scary a little bit, but um, no. And I think that's a huge compliment. So, I mean, I'm complimented too. And I was like, uh, I feel you. I just did. I went to Minnesota, um, Richmond, Minnesota and ODB wanted me to stay an extra night. I fell asleep at nine 45 their time, seven 45 California time. So I'm with you. I need my rest oh. and relaxation. Yeah. I'm old. I'm like, I'm, I'm grizzled. This traveling. Oh, you deserve it. We're old. You know, you got, you know, it's just, it, they, people forget that we have to travel to get there, get all makeup mm -hmm. up and then like be on and then still be on when we go back to our hotel and you have nothing left. You're just zonked. But I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And, um, um, tell my nephew, Rebel, I love him so much. And I I, I'll see him on the golf course <laughs> with no snakes, with no snakes. no snakes. He can come to San no Diego. Snakes. Yes. We love you. Thank you for being here. I Great class, you. everybody, to Tracy Brooks. Love Tracy you guys. Tracy Brooks, baby. We love you. Love we you. love you, Mickey. Love you. We miss you, Mickey. We love you. See you next week. Thanks, everybody, for being here. See you soon. Woo! This is the word to go, yo, go.